What is up guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Box. Yeah! Now today I'm gonna be telling a story about my summer camp disaster. What? Okay, now this is a bit of a sequel to my first ever animated story about when I dated my best friend's sister. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> this story actually takes place exactly one year after that story. It's summertime, I just got out of school and my parents are like, we gotta send Adam back to the summer camp. Yeah, they he were gotta like, find his wife. <laughs> Otherwise, he will be forever alone. Now, the camp that I went to was a two-week summer camp in the middle of nowhere. It was high up in the mountains. Right. Just surrounded by trees. Right. So I was like, you know what? I kind of know what to expect. I've been there last year. It's gonna be pretty chill, right? Yeah. So I get to the camp. I unpack my bag. I'm actually one of the older kids at this camp now. You, so I'm kind of like- one year later. What do you mean one of the older kids? Like the age range of kids was only like two years. It was like, <laughs> I think like 11 to 13. Oh, so okay. Like the oh, year yeah. earlier, I was kind of in the middle. Now I'm like one of the older oh, cool kids. Cool. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything about the camp was basically the same, same place, but there was one big change. Mm -hmm. The camp leader, the man who ran the entire camp, oh, no. was new this year. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, his name was Camp Leader Brock. Brock. Now, the year prior, it was like this really nice guy. He was like super chill. Brock, Camp Leader Brock, was like a really tall, scary man who had like a beard that like went down to here. Like oh, a yeah. big beard. Oh yeah. The camp leader Brock is like, guys gather around. I have some new information about the camp. And so everyone's kind of like, oh, whoa, this is different. Uh -huh. He's like, now I expect respect from all of you. We're gonna have a nice fun camp. <laughs> I know last year, there was some sneaking around, some couples. Yeah. I just want to let everyone know that's not going to fly this year. Oh, bro. And all of us were kind of looking around like, okay, I guess we got to like be on our best behavior. <laughs> Adam's like, I guess I'm going home. <laughs> I can't slide in these DMs this year. What's the point of being here? <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I'm a good boy. I don't normally get in trouble. I should be fine, yeah. right? Now they had everyone gather around. They were like, guys, uh, at this camp, we just want to let everyone get to know each other. We're going to do a fun icebreaker, <laughs> and we're going to have a fun little swing dance. Oh, So yeah. they're like, all right, everyone gather around. We're going to pair you guys up, one boy, one girl, and oh, we're just yeah. going to have fun dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I got paired up with this girl named Ava. Oh, Ava. Yeah, okay, and she was, like, one of the taller girls at the camp. I oh, guess they, nice. like, assigned us by height. So, like, I was the tallest at the camp, and she was the tallest girl at the okay, camp. Okay, okay. So they paired us together, and they were like, all right, guys, everyone, let's start dancing. They played some, like, jazzy music. And we all started dancing. It was like really yeah. clumsy, but it was actually so much fun. And I was like dancing with Ava. I was like, oh yeah, I'm Adam. She's like, oh, I'm Ava. And I actually learned that Ava really, really liked drawing. <laughs> so like I was dancing with her. I was like, oh, you should like draw me later. And she was what like, what you mean? What you, are you insane? I what? You said, draw me. No, she said, I really like doing like illustrations. Yeah, and then you said, hey, draw me. I kind of said it as like a joke. I was like, oh, you should draw me. And she was like, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so I had like kind of been trying to flirt a little bit. I was like, you should draw me. <laughs> and to my surprise, she said, yes. You are such so, trash. No, I was like, oh no, here no, we go again. Oh no. <laughs> I think I'm catching feet. No, I for went, the first girl who's in front of me. No, I went into the camp being like, I'm not going to have a camp crush. Like, I'm gonna be good this year. Every story is like the first girl that is placed in front of Adam McThirsty, you develop a crush on. The first camp, and then when you went to driving class, and now this. Are you insane? I don't know. I'm insanely in love. <laughs> you insanely <laughs> idiot. <laughs> so later that night, uh, me and Ava were hanging out in like the kitchen area. She was like, she brought her like notepad and her pencils and stuff. She was like, I want to draw you. I was like, okay, this should be fun. And she kind of started to sketch me and like start drawing and stuff. So I'm kind of like, my eyes are getting kind of like glossy. I'm just like staring at her, just already feeling myself falling for this girl. And then I see a big shadow come over her face. Oh, bruh. And I look to my left, and there was a big hand on my shoulder. Okay. And I look up, and it's camp leader Brock. Oh! So he's like, what did I say about couples at this camp? And I was like, no, well, no, we're not a couple. We were just hanging out. And he was like, go back 
to your room. Yeah. And like she didn't even get a chance to finish the drawing. Oh, so no. I just ran back to my room. I was like, oh man, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. And yeah. I'm like, dude, okay, Brock. He does not like me. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta watch myself. Huh. Like, Did you do something to upset Brock. I yeah, he did. caught me with Ava earlier. No, no, before that, I know you <laughs> did. I know you did. <laughs> All of this builds to this final moment. Huh? So the next morning comes. Now I was hanging out with Ava, and Ava was like. Man, the food here is so good. Like, I love the desserts, but they never give you enough. <laughs> and she was like, Adam, do you want to sneak into the kitchen after everyone's gone to bed and like steal the desserts and we can like eat them together? And I was like, What are you talking about? What? Each wow, night. Ava tried to break <laughs> in? Yeah. Ava, a bad girl. <laughs> and she was like, Do you want to like sneak over to the kitchen with me at night and like yeah. we'll take it and no one will know? So now I'm putting this tricky situation where it's like, I want to hang out with Ava. I like this girl. I want to show her that I'm like kind of a bad boy. But at the same time, if I get caught, I will actually probably just get kicked out of the camp, right? Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> this is my last year going to this camp anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it all. To either get in trouble by Brock <laughs> or spend my life alone. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, Ava? Let's do it. Yeah. We were like, okay, at midnight, after everyone else has gone to bed, let's meet outside the kitchen, and then we'll like eat all the desserts in the freezer, right. and then we'll sneak back and no one will know. It'll be right. a ton of right. fun. Right. So I'm in my bunk, every other camper is just asleep, all the other boys. I'm just sitting in my sleeping bag, just like wide awake, just kind of hoping no one sees me. I'm like, okay, it's, it's midnight, time to go. So I sneak out of my sleeping bag, I tiptoe over to the kitchen, and then I see Ava. And she's like, okay, follow me. So I like follow her, like we tiptoe over to the freezer, we open it up, and there's just rows of desserts. Okay. And so we start to take them out, and we're like, this is amazing. We start eating them. They had like, I remember they had like jello cups and like oh, chocolate yeah. cupcakes for the whole week. Yeah. And she was like, <laughs> oh, by the way, like I have a surprise for you. I was uh -huh. like, what is it? She was like, I finished the drawing of you from earlier. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so she like took it out of her pocket, like unfolded it. And I was shocked. It was so good. It was like a really, really good drawing of me. And I was like, wow, like this is amazing. Yeah. And then I heard this footsteps coming down the hall. And then I heard the voice of Brock. Yeah. Being like, <laughs> Why, why is the freezer open? Because we were on the ground underneath and you couldn't see over the counter. So me and Ava were like, we gotta go, we gotta go. We, we cannot get caught. Like yeah. this is gonna be terrible. Yeah. So we literally like somersault our way around the counter just as he was walking around the other side and we run back to our beds and we like actually got away with it. It was insane. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and like, it was like, I remember my heart just beating like as I was laying in my bed, just full of like chocolate cupcakes in my stomach. I wake up in the morning and at breakfast, camp leader Brock is like, okay, I just wanna give a bit of an announcement. It appears that someone was trying to steal from the freezer last night. I, I walked out and it was open and I noticed some food was missing. I just wanna remind everyone, stealing is a big no-no at this camp. Yeah. And if we catch whoever did this, they will be punished. Huh. And I mean, Ava were kind of like, oh, we got away with it. It's fine. You know, it's we're just laughing to each other. And so he's like, okay, guys, let's uh, all go back to our bunks and get ready for the next activity. And he was like, uh, actually, Adam, could you stay stay back for a bit? I was like, oh no, wait, he couldn't have seen me. Like, that could not have happened, right? And then he's like, I was wondering uh, if you knew anything about what happened last night with the with the desserts. And I was like, no. And he was like, oh, okay, that's all right. Yeah, I just. Go on. Oh, by the way, I uh, found this drawing of you next to the desserts. Is this yours? <laughs> you idiot. And my heart dropped. How? Because I realized when I panicked and ran away with Ava, I dropped the picture of me that she drew right next to the desserts on the ground. <laughs> and he was like, is this yours? And I was like, no. Ah. And he was like, oh, okay. And he proceeded to slowly rip up the picture oh, of me bro. and throw it away. Ah. And he was like, go back to your room. So that's basically how it ends. Camp Leader Brock wasn't actually able to kick me out of the camp because he technically didn't ah. have 
actual proof. <laughs> you ain't got no proof. Like he never bro. saw me, yeah. but I, the rest of the camp, he hated me. Yeah. Like he just was so mean to me. Yeah. And me and Ava actually became really good friends. We <laughs> laugh about it. But that was yeah. the story of how my summer camp almost ended in disaster. Wow. Adam, that was a real nice story. <laughs> now why don't I do a little drawing of you? Because you didn't get that drawing. Oh, okay. You're gonna draw me like Ava drew me? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. okay I gotta pose fix my nice. hair. Yeah, pose nice. Three, two, one. Yeah! <laughs> that doesn't yeah. look anything like Joey me! <laughs>